welcome back guardians my name's Aphion and this is our second flawless Charles Versaurus tips video in this short mini series we're going to be doing there will be some more advanced stuff down the line but in this video we're going to talk about communication and teamwork a lot and also your loadouts so if you're looking for some more advanced stuff be sure to check out the playlist once I sort it out but for now hopefully stick around and there'll be something in here you can apply to your own game so communication for me in Trolls of Asaurus is everything so I stress that you play if you can with people that you know people you will that you will be comfortable to talk with openly so there'll be a lot of communication there in this clip I quickly took down two enemy players I moved on their orb allowing my teammates to move on and get the target Now if we hadn't had that level of communication, they wouldn't have known where the targets were down, they wouldn't have known the orbs were covered, and they wouldn't have been able to go and two-man the target. This is very important, it also lets me know that they're both going after him, they're letting me know where he is, so I know there's no threat that he is going to be reviving his teammates. So communication for me is priority number one for winning flawlessly when playing in the Trolls of Osiris. All enemies have been eliminated. Next, I want to talk about weapon choices. We will be talking more about communication in a further forward video in the series, but for now, I want to talk a little bit about our loadouts when playing. So, I have been tending to run a fawn and mod multi tool. Now, depending on what my enemies are using and their skill level, I'll use fawn if there is no threat of people getting up close, but if they don't have good long range weapons or will change to multi tool and that way when they're coming in from a distance be able to land those quick quick shots and if something goes wrong and my teammates are down and I need to get out of there the multi tool perk lets me do that with the extra speed and with the armor choice with your exotic armor a lot of people like to have the quick revive keeper of the pack perk the thing I will say about this is that I have seen a lot of fire teams running with all three characters using this. If you're in a group, you don't need all three characters using it. You only need two characters using it, and that will free the third character up to use something more offensive or something more useful to the team. So, speak with your teammates, check what the enemy is using, as we mentioned in the previous video, and from that, you'll be able to pick the best loadouts for those situations. Now, the final thing we're going to talk about in this video is sensitivity. I personally play on 8. I believe the default is 4. Sensitivity is a sort of tricky issue for me, because I think if you go higher, then that allows you to get better target acquisition, and you'll be able to turn, move on people a lot quicker, but there's no point having that higher speed if you cannot aim with it. That's why I play on 8 because I would not be able to aim as accurately on 10. But that doesn't mean you have to play on such a high sensitivity. So with the sensitivity, if you do want to increase it, the way that I increase mine and would recommend is upping it by one a day until you reach that point where you do not feel comfortable with it anymore. Once you reach that point, then at that point, I would lower the sensitivity back down one to the point where you felt most comfortable. But to sum up the video, now we are coming to an end again. It is very important to communicate with your teammates, not just on what's going on in the game, but on what loadout you're going to be running, what weapons you are going to run, so that the weapons complement each other, and also the armor to help each other out. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more Daily Destiny videos, do not forget to subscribe, and keep a lookout for the next Trolls Tips video, where we'll be looking at the maps and strategies and more. 